Hi, this is John from Chicago, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you an exciting um, new little toothpick. Uh, it's been out for about five months, and over the winter I haven't had much of a time chance to fly it because of the terrible weather here in Chicago, but I've been out for the last uh, month or so flying this, and this is really fun and exciting. A lot of punch, and it's real maneuverable, and it's a great freestyle small quad. Um, Let's see, I'll start with the motors. The motors are um, 1202 and a half by 6400 kV uh, from Happy Model. Uh, the props are Gemfan uh, 3018s and the combination of the wider stator motors, the 1202 and a half, uh, gives it a lot of uh, low end torque, um, so a lot more torque than like an 1103 motor would have. So uh, it gives you real good throttle management as well as um, good um, flight times. The um, flight control board down here is a Crazy BX. Uh, it's both a 1S and a 2S board. I do recommend just using this as 2S, 1S. The KV of the motors are pretty low, so it's not a good 1S flyer, but 2S it's fantastic. Um, the um, frame itself is pretty thin um, and light. Uh, some people think that it's going to be a problem with braking. I have not broken one. I've had a couple really good crashes and I know other people, reviewers, uh, I haven't heard of people breaking the frames yet. I did break a canopy. It broke right past where it connects to the uh, flight control board. Uh, but that's an easy fix. They're about a $4 canopy, and I think this is a, one of the stronger canopies out there, and it's nice that it holds it in four places so it holds the camera nice and steady. The camera itself is a Cadex uh, Ant camera. It's a lightweight, good camera. And um, let's see, the uh, batteries, the all up weight is um, 53 grams, or 43 grams, excuse me. And with a 350 milliamp 2S battery, it puts it up to 63, and then 73 for the 450. And with the 450, I get over 10 minutes of flight. If uh, just having fun, if I really push it hard, I'll still get over um, six minute flight time. Uh, so let's um, go on to thrust test. I'll do a thrust test with both batteries. Then I'll uh, move on, do a, a range test to see how far this flies, and then um, do uh, some speed testing uh, on my smaller course, the playground course, and then go out to the field and do some field uh, lap testing. I'll put all this together in a spreadsheet and give you my recommendations. Crux X um, with a 350 milliamp our battery has an all-up weight of 63.3 grams. 255 259 256 All-up weight Crux 3 uh, with a 450 milliamp hour battery is 72.9 grams. 330. 330. The larger battery uh, produced uh, 400 grams of thrust with a power to weight ratio of five and a half. This was uh, a lot more than what the 350 milli milliamp battery uh, produced. Uh, it only produced 320 grams of thrust with a power to weight ratio of 5.1. Now we're doing our uh, range test right here and it does a great job. We're just going about 165 uh, meters there. The path coming up is 200 meters. This is using the FR Sky uh, SPI receiver. A lot of people or reviewers say it doesn't work very good, but as you can see from here, I'm going to get 300 yards or meters. The fence in the background, the white fence, is at 300 meters. The um, RSSI, I think, got down to about 30. Um, and if it gets to 23, it would fall. It hasn't fallen, and the uh, VTX is breaking up a little bit at 200 milliwatts. 
but it uh, works pretty good. So all in all, the SPI uh, receiver mat is a pretty good match to the uh, VTX. Uh, you're able to get 300 meters of range and that is great. Now we're doing the um, speed lap testing on the playground track. Uh, this is the fastest toothpick that I've had so far. It's uh, averaging nine seconds a lap for three consecutive laps. I had probably eight laps in a row that were all nine seconds. So it's uh, uh, very consistent and fast. Now I'm out in a large field uh, doing lap testing, and this is a larger, uh, a lot larger track, and I'm still doing quite good. I'm averaging 14.7 um, seconds per lap. Um, and this is, um, it's not the best, but it is uh, close to it uh, for a toothpick. Um, this thing has a lot of power and uh, very little air resistance. And as a result, it's quite quick and maneuverable. I am now showing a spreadsheet uh, that shows the results of all the testing that we just completed uh, for the Crux 3, along with uh, a lot of other toothpicks in the same category. I think the Crux 3 measures up quite well. It's one of the lower cost, it's one of the lighter. Uh, it has a very good uh, thrust and power to weight ratio, and it had the fastest uh, lap times on the playground track and near the fastest times on the field track. It also has uh, the longest distance, or tied for the longest distance, uh, for range at over 300 meters, and the flight time is over six minutes, could be up to 10 minutes if you take it easy. Uh, so overall, it's a um, great uh, toothpick, um, and I recommend it. And um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below. And this is John from Chicago, and thanks for watching.